What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Star Trek Discovery video. Kind of an interesting topic today, not necessarily about the show itself, but more of a behind-the-scenes aspect that might be a good thing or a very, very bad thing. Let's start at the beginning, though. Variety released their cover story for September, and surprise, surprise, Discovery are rocking the front of the magazine for this month. That cover story is an interesting and honestly kind of unflinching look at the show. It details how and when Sonequa Martin-Green was cast, as well as how she really approaches the series. So there are some tidbits from Jason Isaacs and Michelle Yeoh, and some sort of kind of new views of the ship's high-tech bridge. Alongside all that good stuff, there's also some great info about Brian Fuller's departure from the series, and how it doesn't seem like the amicable split it's being made out to be, but that might be a video for another time. Buried deep within the article was a, quite frankly, shocking and potentially alarming tidbit about the series and its per-episode budget. According to the article, an average episode, so middle of the road, not high-end, heavy on the effects, average episode, costs between eight and eight and a half million dollars. That is not cheap, not by TV standards, and certainly not by web series standards, which this ostensibly is, and projecting out that per episode average for the 15 episodes we have confirmed so far tallies a total bill right around an eye-watering $125 million for the full season. That's essentially CBS greenlighting and bankrolling a 15-hour feature film. And there are a lot of things that we can take away from this. I mean, first and foremost, it's a gamble, a huge gamble on the new series that, as confirmed by the article, CBS is really hoping is going to jumpstart CBS All Access, their not-so-new streaming service. Second, I guess it's a good thing that they aren't skimping on the budget, and honestly, the VFX looks pretty high quality from what we've been seeing in the trailer, so hopefully that space flight and action makes up for any other lapses in quality elsewhere. But the third observation I have about this is that this might ultimately be what dooms the series. There's always been this ideology in Hollywood, especially recently, I guess, that it seems it's kind of like if you build it, they will come. Or kind of translate it, if we throw enough money at this, it won't fail. And this seems to me like the show might be falling into that trap. Because while you're doing a good job and buying yourself a show that hopefully looks good, number one, and two, lives up to that $8 million budget, you're probably actually making it that much harder to earn any return on its investment. I mean, not just a good return, any return. And that's a really big bet, especially when the ultimate goal is a real uphill struggle, attracting people to yet another paid streaming platform in a world now filled with Netflixes and Hulus. But the bottom line is this, it all depends on how CBS approaches it. I mean, if they look at it from the very strict network TV view that if it doesn't hit this certain amount of ratings or it doesn't have this many millions of viewers per episode, it's a failure. Because if they look at it that way, personally, I'm going to guarantee you right now, this will not get a second season. But if they're looking at it more modestly as a way literally to just bring more people to the platform, if they have more subscribers than they did before, I believe the show could accomplish that. But as I said, that is a challenge even in its own right. Either way, let me know what you think of the budget in the comment section down below. Personally, as you can probably tell, I'm just blown away, but that's going to do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.